my favorite tool for really impromptu questions is uh, Excel. Um, and here's a, a really quick brief one on how I sort it, how to sort it out for using in lessons. First things first, uh, zoom in because you know I want it to be big enough for the students to see. Um, and uh, what I was doing today with some of my uh, students was number ones, number ones to ten. Uh, so I wanted questions that looked like three plus uh, something equals and ten. Um, now, uh, what I did was I, I paused and I thought well, I want the the ten, the plus, and the equals to stay put. Um, I want this to change. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to bump the size up and center them because that's just neater. Um, now, this one, I kind of want it to be randomly generated. So super quick equals first. So I'm typing a formula in and then rand between and then open brackets. And then I pick a bottom number and a top number. So I want to go between one and nine because I'm going number bonds between uh, number ones to ten. So anything from one to nine is fine. Maybe I pick zero to ten, depending on how I want to set this up. Um, and the beautiful thing about this is uh, now this is an auto-generating worksheet. Um, so to regenerate this, you just press F9. If I press F9, it recalculates the whole sheet. Suddenly I have an auto-generated worksheet with as many questions as I like. Obviously they'll repeat sometimes, but I can just bash F9 until I get ones I like. Um, what I did then was I wanted to extend this idea slightly. So I didn't just want this to be 10. I wanted it to be a multiple of 10. So I changed this to 10 times and then ran between one and nine. Okay, so it, it's 10 times a random number from one to nine. So now this is some multiple of 10. Okay, um, and I did two things. Uh, actually, the first thing I did was I didn't want it to be um, this. I was talking about uh, how do I get up to 30? So I wanted this to really say 26, not six. So I changed this formula um, and uh, a quick way to do this is you can click on the cell and click on the formula bar up here and I can change my formula up here. So what I really wanted is I wanted a random number between one and nine less than this. So I, if I click right here and then I click this cell, it says F2 take away my random number. So now I'm starting at 30 and subtracting some random number from one to nine. But the beautiful thing about this is this is generating randomly between 10 and 90. And therefore, this is always a small amount below that. And now if I press F9, the gap is five, the gap is four and so on. Um, and you'll see, obviously, it's random number generator. So sometimes one of the numbers doesn't change because it generates the same number in a, twice in a row. But now I have loads and loads of questions just checking, can they do number bonds to get up to the next multiple of 10? And I did this live in the classroom. Um, as I was working this through, because I thought, oh, I want to, I want to check, to check a whole load of questions. I was using many whiteboards with the students, so I could see immediately what their responses were. But it did. It took me about 30 seconds to just chuck that in an Excel spreadsheet during my lesson, which I think is very handy.